Okay guys, so I'm going to go over kind of my process for making a mod. Um, I figure with Warhammer 3 coming out and mod tools finally being available, though that was actually fairly quick, faster than I expected, um, I figured I'd show you the process that goes into making the mods that I do in the hopes that maybe it will help new modders get into this. It's really not too hard. Um, and there's a lot of help out there on like the, the modding Discord channel when you have questions. So, um, First of all, we're going to create a new pack. So I'm in Rusted Pack File Manager. I'm going to say uh, New Pack File, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to add from pack file. So I already have it up, but let's go through where it is. So in my solid state drive, my Steam library, Steam Apps, Common, Warhammer 3, Data. I'm going to go down to Data right here, data.pack. That's where most things lie. Okay, so we're going to go to database. Now, the first thing I'm going to do in this um, for this mod, so the idea of this mod is I want my lords to be able to teleport around using the rifts. Um, I want to change this into more of a uh, grand campaign style where the rifts aren't a rush. So also at the same time, I'm going to make it so the AI can't win in the rifts. That way it's not a race for me. I can take my time and um, just fight the campaign. But like I said, I'm also going to make it so that my lords can teleport around using the rifts. So I'm going to make it so anyone can go into the rifts. One thing to note about that is the AI won't use it any differently. They will continue to just send their, their main lord through the rift. But you, as the player, can send any lord through them, and you can use it to teleport around and stuff. It's going to just make it a lot better. So I'm searching for teleportation network traveler requirements tables. It's a really simple table. There's two things. The only one I want to change is faction leaders only named key. It's faction leader only. Click. No longer faction leader only. I'm going to delete. So just real quick. The one I didn't change, I'm deleting. I'm hitting delete. This one here, the only thing I changed was make it so it's not faction leader only. Now any lord can do it. All right, so I'm going to right click on this and rename it. I'm going to rename it to something else. It doesn't matter. I just do masked AI can't win data. I try and name it whatever my mod is. That way I can tell what the heck I'm doing if I look back at old mods or whatever. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my database here. I'm going to delete this teleport. Now I'm going to change the script. Now, if you've already watched another video of mine where before the modding tools were released, I already made this change. But now that modding tools are released, it's, it's a lot easier. So I might as well walk you through that as well so you don't have to watch it if you don't want. Okay, so we're going to go to script. It's again still in my data.pack. It's in script, campaign, main chaos, um, realms, realm common. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to about 90s or so right here. The army strength required for the AI to win a realm once it reaches the survival battle destination. It's currently 2 million, which apparently is very low. I mean, they win all the time in my campaigns. So if I wanted to make it so that they just needed a better army, I could set it up to maybe like 2.5 million or 3 million or something like that. But I'm, I'm going to set it to 9 million. So 9 million is going to mean that they're not going to win it. Okay, so that's all I need for my mod. This makes it so that any of my lords can teleport through the portals, the rifts, using it to jump to, from one place to the other or go into another place. One thing to note is that you can only ever have one lord in any um, rift. So if you go into, say, Slanesh land um, with one lord and then you try and jump into another chaos realm, let's say Slanesh or um, Korn or wherever, it will then kick out the first one. So um, don't do that, I guess, is the moral of the story. OK, so we're going to go ahead and save Pack File Manager as um, I've actually already made one with this name just to make it easy. So uh, Mass Mustachio AI Can't Win dot pack. Sure. Yes, we'll replace that. OK, now what we need to do is we need to go to some kind of photo editing here and choose a picture, I thought, well, Jumper, the crappy movie from the early 2000s with uh, Anakin in it. Um, I thought it was appropriate. It's not a very good movie, but I don't know. Guilty pleasures and all, I kind of enjoyed it as a kid. So what we need to do is we need to make 256 by 256. 
um, a PNG that's 256 by 256. So I'm going to change this image, uh, scale the image down to, I don't know, um, 256 would be one, the smallest I could do, but let's just say 270, just so that I don't have to um, really work at getting it in there. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, crop to selection. Okay, here's my image that I'm going to use. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to export as um, Mass Mustachios AI Can't Win PNG. That's what I want. So I'm going to export that. Export. Okay, so now my Mass Mustachio AI Can't Win right here. I'm going to take this and put it into my data folder. I already have it, but I'm going to do it again. Replace the file. So the idea here is that the PNG is 256 by 256. It's a PNG, and it's named exactly the same as my pack. Now that that's done, I can go and pull up my game. So we can upload the mod. So mod manager right here, there it is with my picture. I'm going to hit this, and it I don't know. I don't know what to name these things it or what to do it, but maybe it's a campaign. So I'm going to upload it. I don't think I've ever known what to do. All right, it's uploaded. So now if we go to my workshop items, we can see my mod. It's not currently visible, but I can change the visibility. Before I do that, though, I'm going to maybe um, change some, add some pictures potentially, change the name so it's not so crappy named, and then add a description so people know what's going on, along with adding a link to this video. So hopefully that helps you understand the process um, of making a pretty simple mod. Thanks for watching.